Okay, folks, I want to show you something really cool. A couple of weeks ago, I got myself a DGX Spark, this NVIDIA kind of supercomputer for your desktop. It has 128 gigs of GPU memory and a Blackwell processor, which makes it one of the rather powerful machines out there for the edge compute, for running your own local large language models and fine-tuning them and you know doing stuff with them. I wanted to have the interface for me to collaborate with the system that has all my local large language models running, agents running, text-to-speech engines, image generation, video generation, all sorts of other things that are running fully locally in a complete privacy. And I wanted to be able to do that from any of my devices, from my Mac or from my phone. It doesn't matter where I am in the world. So that's exactly what I did, and I want to share with you today how that actually works. So first of all, let me start with the overall approach. And you know, if you're familiar with these things, you probably already understand how that works. But basically, the first order of business is to have a VPN, a virtual private network, where all of these devices are registered and working. One of the proven solutions on the market right now is Tailscale, which is this little app over here that basically combines my devices into one network. It's not hard to set up. You can figure this out. And <clears throat> it runs on the DGX itself, on the device itself. It runs on my Mac, it runs on my iPhone, and it allows these systems to talk to each other directly through whatever protocol we kind of choose. Now, what I did is on the DGX, of course, I have a whole bunch of different software installed, different large language models with Olama, with VLLM. I have Ultravox over there. I also have Trinity, which is our own project for running agents. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And I wanted to have one kind of management space and collaboration space with that that is convenient to use and is not necessarily only terminal. I'm comfortable with terminal, but I also realize that it's good not in all of the cases. Like you do want to see the dashboards, you do want to see the status, you do want to do things in one click rather than explain to an agent what you know it should be doing. So the way it's organized is this. First of all, I have this Sparky agent, which is a cloud code agent I call Sparky, that is installed on my DGX Spark and is basically having full control and full awareness of the device itself. So you can say that Sparky is the DGX in, in a way. Now it has all the different context about Trinity, about Olama, VLLM, and other models that are installed there and solutions that are installed there and how they're exposed and what are the network configurations and things like that. Now, I also have this local kind of DGX agent, a local Sparky agent. Here it is. This is just the regular cloud quote. Let me clear it out. That is similarly aware of the DGX, but it's just running on my local machine and can talk to Sparky and can access the NVIDIA from the outside and things like that. And I did some vibe coding to set up web UI and mobile UI interfaces to allow to operate with the device and its features and functions. And that's what I want to show you today. So this is roughly how it looks like. And as you can see, there's on the top, there is a telemetry about the instance. It shows me the CPU load, the memory, GPU load, stuff like that. And of course, like the instance details. As I mentioned, it's 128 gigabytes of memory and four terabytes of uh, SSD, half of which I already kind of consumed. And then it lists all the different services that we have on this machine, such as the open web UI that goes directly with the package. And we can click on it and open that and you know directly use that from here if I want to. We have Comfy UI running over there. In addition to that, we have Jupyter Lab. Then we have Trinity web interface, and Trinity is the infrastructure and orchestration layer for agentic automation for autonomous agents that we use internally. I will have a separate video about that, but basically the Trinity system is running on DGX and managing one particular agent that is currently offline. But I will talk about Trinity on a separate video. And of course, there's like DGX dashboard, which is not up for some reason. Then we have a list of the available models. All of those were installed before, and I have a bunch of them. As you can see on the Olama side, we have GPT OSS, Gwen 3, Llama 4, Ministral, the new one. And we also have image generation, video generation, audio generation, that kind of stuff. 
And then we have separate tabs over here. So the agent tab is basically just chat with the Sparky agent. So, you know, I can just talk to the agent that is in full control of the DGX. And if I want to change anything, including this web interface, including any of the setups, I can ask it to do so, and it will do so in the YOLO mode. So kind of on its own, following the instructions that I gave it already. Now, if I want to chat with any of the LLMs that I have installed over here, and this is kind of combination of both the Olama installation and VLLM installation, I can select the model over here, load it up and talk to it. And as you can see, I have some obliterated models over here. We have some like deep sea Gwen, like it's standard set of, of the stuff for different sort of use cases. So let's take a look at this chat tab, which is where I can talk to any of the models that I have here. And let's pick something relatively small, say this Gwen 2.5 and load this model. And let's see what's happening. So first of all, the memory consumption is going to go up. Probably temperature is going to keep going up as well. And now we have it loaded over here and I can just talk to it. There you go. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can switch between different ones and install your own fine tuned version. As I did over here, you can see that, you know, there's a distilled deep seek version. There's a fine tuned Gwen 7 billion. That's the experiments I did with the fine tuning here. Now there's an image generation and I have a bunch of models over here, including one obliterated model. I even have video generation over here, but to be honest, DGX is not really good at <clears throat> video or photo generation for that matter. It's just not designed for that from the hardware perspective. It is good and efficient with small LLMs. It gives you good tokens per second for small-ish LLMs. It's not great with video generation and processing. It's just taking too much time. Now on the voice side, I can actually talk to it from here. It has Chatterbox plus Ultravox setup over here. So I can just you know, ask it to, um, to, to talk to me to have a conversation in voice and it will happen. But again, it's not as quick as I would want to. And on the Manage tab, we can see that, well, first of all, I can see like a whole bunch of processes that are taking either CPU or memory or GPU and understand what's going on there. And I can also manage services like for the Trinity agent platform, I can you know just pull from the GitHub whatever are the most recent changes, rebuild and restart it and have an updated version running. And of course, we can see all the different containers that are running over here on this machine. So it gives me one look overview at everything and control over everything through a nice interface. But the cool thing I have over here is the mobile version actually, which is what I want to show you over here. This is the mobile version. It's running on my iPhone right now. This is just iPhone mirroring. So you can see it shows you all these different statistics. You can also talk to an agent that controls that. You can chat with this specific model and generate images and stuff like that. And all of that in a convenient mobile friendly kind of interface and available and accessible from anywhere. So I can control the workload directly from my mobile phone while sitting somewhere in the cafe without my own Wi-Fi which is kind of cool. If you found it interesting, I'm happy to share the source code for you to install it on whatever your instance that you are running. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. I will send you the repository where I store that. Feel free to come back with any feedback. And yes, please subscribe and like and everything that really matters. Happy New Year.